Welcome to another edition of Frankly Green Bay, brought to you by Terra Verde Coffee of Chilton, Wisconsin, where I bring to you creative people throughout Northeastern Wisconsin. He's an actor, and he's been with Let Me Be Frank Productions for 13 years, Mr. Tom Verbrick. And welcome to another edition of Frankly Green Bay. Got my buddy Tom Burbrick. How you doing, Tommy? Good. Now, Tom, you and I have been working together for a long time, but let's yep. start from the beginning. As an actor, high school, where did it all start? Well, actually, it was before high school. It was. When it started. Uh, there was a, a professional theater uh, place in Appleton, Wisconsin. Yeah. Um, it was, um, God, I can't think of the name of it right now. Uh, well, country Air. Yeah, Country Air. Okay. Smell um, Country Air. Yes. <laughs> and uh, it was uh, Jim Romanesco, my... Um, High school um, director okay. actually got me started in there right before I was a freshman, and then as I came in as a freshman, we just did musical things there, and yeah, I went through all the musical theater in high school, and then from there I did the stunt show at Great America. Let's talk about the stunt show. Great, okay, okay. Great America, pretty cool thing you did. Yeah, yeah, it was a blast. They did the Warner Brothers Western stunt show, stunt show at Great America, um, and I got to learn how to do stunts, horseback riding, a lot of like. Gunplay and all that kind of stuff with that. Is that where you got good at fighting? Is that why you? A teaching? little bit. That's where I kind of started with the fighting between okay. the Milwaukee Repertory Theater um, and the people that I trained under there. Now a lot of people don't know this. You stunt doubled for Jay Leno. I was you stunt double for Jay Leno. <laughs> Does he look like him? Well, you're way better chin, looking. Chin, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, it was uh, fantastic. We went out to the White Sox. Um, Frank Thomas or Thompson was uh, yeah. one of the big hitters of the White Sox, yeah. and the bit that they had was Jay Leno coming into Chicago to do a week on site in Chicago. They had a bit where Jay Leno was shagging pot flies for Frank Thomas with the White yeah. Sox. So they had close-ups of Jay Leno, and then when they shot away to long shots, where like they running off the side and diving off to the side, for example, and then Jay Leno would be like flying through the air sideways and <laughs> catch the you. ball. Now, your beautiful wife Tammy yes. also is involved in theater. She's done many productions. What is that like, doing that together? It's, it's fun. It's a blast. She's been with... Uh, um, Green Bay Community Theater, she's on a couple there, and she's also worked with Evergreen. And mm -hmm. the thing that she, I guess, I don't want to say recognizes, but appreciates is I've, the experience that I've had in theater. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times when she gets a part or she's going to audition for a part, we'll sit down and go through the script, and she'll kind of pick my brain for a handful of things. You know, if they ask her to do an accent, absolutely, I'll help mm -hmm. her with the accent, that sort of thing. She gets really excited about it, and she has a lot of fun. You are the third longest tenured person with Let Me Be Frank. Mm -hmm. Did you know that? You got Nine. Amy and Pat and then yourself. Uh, and we love you and you're fantastic. But you got a new thing coming up that we're doing uh, in Chilton High School at the Angler yeah. Center. Yep. It's called The Death of Al backslash Alice Capone. And you play... Al slash Alice. Alice, That's yes. That's right. You know... Don't want to give away the secret don't there, <laughs> but... You, you look know. good in a dress. <laughs> Tell me about that. Now, you've done it a couple times. Do you, uh -huh. love, do you like uh, being dressed? Up? I don't know if like would be the right <laughs> word. I appreciate the pay. Yeah, Thank yeah, you for that. And join us next week as we bring another creative person to Frankly Green Bay.